Hello, welcome back to AI coding, where we're using all the possible AI that are available to generate and make programming easy and fast. So today we are using GPT chat to make sure that we create this particular application and the, as you have seen already we have already made this part the first part sign up and login and we have a home page now on the home page we need to add this particular view and we need to add this particular view so all have to be set early enough so this will be the list this will be the the pop-up and how do we call the pop-up in I don't know so we need to find out we need to find out so and let's say I don't know how to call the pop-up so I will go to GPT and I say alright GPT I want to create create okay generate a pop-up form with visible with visible input as follows okay generate a pop-up form which use bootstrap with visible input as follows so we said we need to have date subject and what remember should we use automatic date no let's let's put the user to choose the date as follows okay date subject what memory and a hidden input with value of email and call the form we call the form record event i think i have speaked a lot so let's see if it will understand my very <laughs> very bad yes now you see it knows that i want a pop-up and it knows it's bootstrap so it used a model that's amazing and now this is beautiful this is very very beautiful and in the model it's having debt as a debt subject as subject and the yep and email as hidden it's hidden this is beautiful this is hidden and it's working that's done so the footer is button secondary blah 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 that's good okay 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 so let's say we grab this code we grab this code, we go back to our code, and uh, we say we are going to home. Now we are dealing with home. And uh, on home, on home, we say we are going to put it where? So let's say, yeah, in container. We're going to paste it here. So we are putting them better properly and we save that. So let's say the form is sending data to where? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So we say create uh, distribution generate. generate. Going to be 
main app app.php php generates app.php which will process the form data boom okay let's see let's check the post check the date knows email also is checked all right and i can give the hints why are you not using pdo when you forget to use pdo you confuse me please as yes please refer back to pdo i will tell you to video <laughs> yeah use video okay and another thing I have I wanted to rewrite so that you can see I want to tell it that the email is coming from session so it will do that The email is coming from the session. Yeah. So this code is done. Do I need to send the email? Because if it is in the session, why should I? I don't need email. Totally. I don't need email. I will add it manually the other side so yeah that's good great so here we are uh, let me let me tell the PHP part because the get the email from from the session mm-hmm so okay so the same codes remember the idea here is to grab this code to go to paste in the file and the business continue as usual yep want to come here so if we come here I think it's sdavis at ai coding dot com and here we say Okay, so we have this open form, it's coming here, we pick the date, we pick the subject, we write what to remember, and we save. Alright, I will need to change a few things, I don't need it to be that open, the form is not, uh, we need to call it not record events record events I think that sounds good I don't know then. yeah the naming you can choose any let's see it's a little bit uh, yeah it's a little bit better so okay regenerate what happened to the network okay good all right all right all right all right all right on mm -hmm. on previous video code use email use session to get email let's see
Okay, so this is going to make the whole thing, so that's good. And I'll need to remove the email the other side, I don't need it. Because the one who is going to log in, I mean the one who is going to not log in, the one who is going to take a note should be should be low should, first they need to log in first and then they need to record whatever they're recording good question thank you php so another interesting part is i can create this thank you php yeah So I will tell the GPT to generate this code. Generate thank you PHP. To know what it will do. Because it knows what it said there. Oh, thank you for submitting the form. Your event has been recorded. Ba 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 ba. That's simple. Okay, convert that to be model. Notification. How many minutes? I think we are good. 11 minutes. I don't want to take a long time. No, 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 okay. Like, button trigger model is there. Mm hmm. Okay, 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 okay. No, what I need, let me, let me, let me guide it. I will use this. Okay, all right, all right. So, okay, let me take this code first. This code is for app, app.php, app.php. So I will take this code to the app.php, okay. And I'll paste it there. And after that, I'm good. So I'm having my code here. I'll just change one thing here, which is this because I don't do this anymore. I just include it. Okay, from here up to here. I use include and I call db connect.php and that's done. And make sure it's DB. Yes, that's all. So we say I didn't. I should take the other code, not this one. But uh, yeah. Email. Did I take this one? Yeah. Session email. Yes, because the email is the one that is in session. Ooh. And that means we are good. Request method posts. So it wait to see if it's post, <laughs> and then it does the thing. So this is almost there. One of the own challenge we have is we are going to go back to the home for now. Here. Yeah. So that uh, we can be able to do that. So one more thing I need to verify is if on home 
this is sending to record event the form where is the form the form is somewhere here it end here so I start from here so I need to make sure that it's carving method posts action app dot php oh that's another business for another day so I don't need you uh, the hiding thing anymore I don't need that with that I think I'm so much somewhere better so okay so much good so much better and so much Ooh. good 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 so I will change now I'll go back here I will refresh now I'll go here I will pick uh, today's 29th subject is end of the year and here I want to remember ooh, ooh, I want to recall one thing so look at this so on the database part yep so you should remember these are the things that if you remember early that will save you a time to stress our database have different columns with the save 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 save, save and close with the one that we have provided here I'm not sure if we saw we said memory in here because I'm not looking at any part here. We said records, not memory. Yeah. Records. So we have records. So the column name this call was going to make us was going to give us real bit hard times because they are going to push us to say no we have no idea of what you're talking about man and we will say no we're using AI and they say no man that doesn't work to us that was going to be bad mm. 